Hello everyone, Matthew Hawkins back again with another video and welcome to episode 5 of my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time. We're down to the final 13. So that means we've done, you know, it's episode 5, all the others have been top 10s, so we've had to give you the bottom 40. This time instead of the usual 10, I'm going to add 8 more entries to the list of my top 53, so this time I'm going to go through number 13 all the way to number 6 and tomorrow we're going to have a top 5 I'll give you my top 5 favourites Super Bowl commercials of all time so let's get started with episode 5 of my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time 13 through to 6 number 13 Prison Break Audi Super Bowl 45 I've actually lost count to be fair and I bet you guys have too on me adverts from Super Bowl 45 are in this countdown. This is um, again one of them first ones that I watched again. I've, it's got a bit of sentimental value to me. Uh, one of my favourites of this Super Bowl, obviously it's on this list, so why wouldn't it be? Um, very humorous for a, a prison break. Uh, I'll say this as well. Um, they took a very um, good bash at the most of their rival in the luxury car market, um, Mercedes. Like at the time, I think I saw another Audi advert later that year where, again, they was taking bashes at Mercedes. Like, oh, they're old-fashioned. We're the modern luxury. Um, you got two guys trying to break out of prison. Uh, a very luxury prison, so shall we say. And there's a bunch of old people in there. They release the hounds, and it's just, well, these dogs here... You got the gate closing, a uh, massive prison break. Uh, they get distracted with Kenny G. They're like, oh, yeah, I love this. And then I'm going to focus. So they get out, and one of them in his Mercedes is like, well, it's like he's a trap. He's like, thinking he's going to get out while the other guy was in the Mercedes. He's in an Audi. Uh, and he gets out, he escapes while the guy is back in jail. Again, found this one quite humorous a lot. I mean, that's the ones I go for. Normally in a great Super Bowl advert, I mean a lot. How many times have I said this countdown? Um, I found this one very humorous. Yes, very humorous indeed. So at number thirteen, it's Prison Break from Audi from Super Bowl Forty Five. Number twelve, Steven Tyler's Driving Back the Years, Kia Super Bowl Fifty Two. I know one from last year's Super Bowl. Um, it's a lot of fresh in my memory, and one of them I really enjoyed from this from last year's Super Bowl. Uh, Steven Tyler to the sound of Dream Out from the band Aerosmith. Uh, I believe he's 69, so he's pushing 70 this year, I think. We'll be 70 now. Um, I'm not actually sure. I should say around there. He gets into his into a Kia. Uh, he goes in reverse. And it's, it was young, fresh face back in, uh, pr in his prime back in the 70s, would you say? I suppose it's a way of saying how much um, it will... Like the music, like sort of like the Beatles in a way, and some some of the great legendary rock bands ever. You know their music never ages. It ages if it does age. It's like a fine wine. You know it, you've got some you know, that have stood the test of time. I think the Beatles are probably the best at it. Uh, Aerosmith is quite up there. I really enjoyed it. I love the music in this one. Obviously, Dream on Aerosmith. So, as number 12, it is Stephen Tyler's Driving Back the Years. Kia from Super Bowl 52. Number 11, The Showdown, McDonald's Super Bowl 27. Now, this one, obviously, is one of the most iconic ones. So iconic, McDonald's brought it back. Uh, let's do the math here. Let's see, this was probably, what, 1993? In 2010, they brought it back, having a bit of... Obviously, they had a sequel the following year, and also they had it with LeBron James and Dwight Howard for Super Bowl 44. But we've gone for the original, because that is the best. But yeah, yeah, Michael Jordan, who had an endorsement deal, I believe, with McDonald's at the time, uh, around the time. You know, basketball, two basketball legends in an advert during the biggest American football event of the year, the Super Bowl. Uh, the same one that had the, had the debut of the halftime show, of as it is now, pretty much where it's a headliner, uh, music act. This year it was Michael Jackson, and hit obviously that's helped uh, significantly for the Super Bowl in the years since. Uh, so yeah, Michael John's coming in with a Big Mac and fries. Uh, okay, there was having a little uh, shoot. Uh, was a uh, Larry's having a little shoot around, and they want to play for Michael's Big Mac. You get the epic shots, and. Uh, 
You don't see who wins. It's the first one to miss watches the other guy eat. Again, one of the most iconic ones of all time. Um, so it was weird, obviously, two basketball greats, two of the greatest basketball players ever to lace up a pair of shorts and, uh, and a jersey and to go shoot some hoops, some legends for their respective clubs. Um, but t- franchises, shall I say. Too much English in me for that. Um, so it's a good combination, but obviously it's one that has stood the test of time. And for that, number 11, the showdown from McDonald's from Super Bowl 27. At number 10, it's brand American NFL Super Bowl 45. And yet another Super Bowl 45 advert. Now, this one was my favourite from Super Bowl 45. For a long time, it was my favourite Super Bowl commercial ever. The reason why it's not ranked high is it's for the NFL, you know. Uh, so that's probably why I have not ranked it uh, higher than I have. Um, this... Made me want to have a Super Bowl party. Three years or so after, I had another, had one. And since 51, I've had one. I'm going to have one again this year. But you get your clips for you from a load of TV shows, including Full House, Family Guy, Friends, The Sopranos, Seinfeld. Uh, have I said Simpsons? Glee, which was one of the hottest shows at the time. you got Happy Days, eh? Set in Wisconsin. The Packers win that Super Bowl. Hell, they won that Super Bowl. The Office US as well. Um... I'm sure I've missed a couple of others. Uh, this was my favourite. Um, I loved it. Uh, and obviously South Park at the end. Uh, I love. Uh, it was one I thought, you know what, I'm going to one day out. If I'm not going to have one the year after, which I didn't, I was going to have a Super Bowl party. So And, and I have. And I enjoy having a party um, for the Super Bowl. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's going to get to the point now where if there's one year I don't do it, it's going to not feel very right at all. At number 10, it's Brand American, the best fans ever from the NFL, from Super Bowl 45. At number 9, it's the Lip Sync Ramp Battle, Mountain Dew and Doritos, Super Bowl 52. Again, one from last year, but this is one I really enjoyed and will go down, I think, as a classic. It starts off, you know, it's a... Mount is a Doritos advert with Peter Dinklage from, as I know him from Game of Thrones. I'm sure others do know him from Game of Thrones. He's having a rap. Uh, not actually sure what song he's singing, uh, but I do know his opponent of all people, the the wisest wise man, old man in movie history, Morgan Freeman of all people, rapping a Missy Elliott song to some Mountain Dew Ice. A battle, it's a, it's a song of ice and fire. And what a great clash of ice and fire in this epic rap battle. This is what the Super Bowl is all about. It's like what I said earlier in, at the top, I think at the bottom, where I had, uh, near the bottom, where I had uh, Ozzy Osbourne and Justin Bieber doing the Best Buy advert from Super Bowl 45. Because uh, you just, you wouldn't think these guys would be doing a Super Bowl advert together, but... I just I wouldn't have thought Peter Dinklage and uh, Morgan Freeman doing a Super Bowl advert together would. But hey, it's made this list. I absolutely enjoyed it. At number nine, the lip sync ramp battle, a uh, rap of ice and fire from Mountain Dew and Doritos from last year's Super Bowl, Super Bowl 52. At number eight, it's Darth Vader, Volkswagen, Super Bowl 45. All right, I know how I said that. NFL Brand American was my favourite Super Bowl advert from 45. So while it's a great advert, it's one of my favourites of all time and will be. But I just, the only reason why I'm knocking point just a little bit is because it's for the NFL. This one, again, is one of the most popular ones from the Super Bowl that year. The Darth Vader one where it's a kid just trying to use the force and do what Darth Vader does until he tries to do it with the car and his dad helps him fulfil that when he turns on the power for his Volkswagen and he scares that kid very sad very painful but yes again this is one of the most popular ones from that Super Bowl so that's why it's on it especially it's why it has to get a mention here you know um, definitely I agree it was one of the best that Super Bowl I don't know really what much to say but except number 8 Darth Vader Volkswagen Super Bowl 45 and number 7 Mud Bud Budweiser Frogs, so the Frogs from Budweiser, Super Bowl 29. Um, well, again, one of them, recently, as far back as a few years ago, I came back over here for a 
Bud Light commercial is. Bud Light. Bud. Remember that from my Magic Weekend video that year? Um, when I was sucking a Bud Light. Bud Light. Bud Light. Beer. Obviously the one that started all, one of the most iconic Budweiser adverts of all time with What's From the 2000, but this is definitely again is one of the most like it's just it's simple. It's just some frogs chilling in a pond and ribbiting out uh, together for a certain but yeah, a bud, a wise, and an air. Bud, wise, bird. Not really much to say. I think enough that can said. So at number seven, it's frogs from Budweiser. Budweiser oh, from Super Bowl 29. And at number six, it's Brotherhood Budweiser Super Bowl 47. Now, this one is one of my favourite adverts from 47, definitely. Um, it's a Budweiser advert. It's the usual one with the Clydesdales. Uh, you've got this guy who's, who's breeding this Clydesdale, you know, brought it up, and then it gets taken on by Budweiser, and about two years later, they come to where he's in, Chicago, and he gets to see... How matured this is Clydesdale is is since being part of the Bud Light the Budweiser Clydesdales. One I felt that um definitely pulls on the ha the old heartstrings of just you know brotherhood and friendship. Uh, not the song real good, but I think it's a great premise, a simple premise, and it's why it's on this list. So at number six, it's Brotherhood from Budweiser, Super Bowl forty seven. Well, that concludes part. Five of my top 53 Super Bowl commercials of all time. Be sure to check out tomorrow for the final five. Got to stop doing. Don't forget to check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them. And don't forget if you've enjoyed the series, let me know in the comments if, if you're liking the series so far. Uh, don't forget if you enjoyed if you've liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't, fair enough, let me know. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and you want some more and turn on those notifications so you know when I post next to you, you know when that finale is coming out tomorrow. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Hawkins and the US. And if you need some cheer, have no fear, Big Matt Hawk is here.